This is a presentation on the normal curve. Have you ever wondered what it means to curve grades, or when teachers say they will be grading on a curve? These terms are relative to the normal distribution. The letter grade each student receives at the end of a class is a reflection on how well that particular student did in the class compared to the rest of his or her peers. In a normal distribution, the mean, median, and mode all have the same value and occur exactly at the center of the distribution. This would cause a bell-shaped curve when graphed, otherwise known as a normal curve. The empirical rule is a statistical rule stating that the majority of the data will fall within three standard deviations of the mean. Reminder, standard deviation is the measure of how spread out the data is. The empirical rule, or the 6896 99.7% rule, is as follows. For any normal distribution, approximately 68% of the data will fall within one standard deviation of the mean. 95% of the data will fall within two standard deviations of the mean, and 99.7% of the data will fall within three standard deviations of the mean. It is imperative to understand the empirical rule to calculate percentages on a normal curve. The weights of high school wrestlers are found to be approximately normally distributed with a mean of 135 pounds and a standard deviation of 5 pounds. Find the percentage of students that weigh between 130 pounds and 140 pounds. To find the percentage, use the empirical rule. Since 130 is one standard deviation below the mean and 140 pounds is one standard deviation greater than the mean, the area represents approximately 68% of the data. Therefore, approximately 68% of the wrestlers weigh between 130 and 140 pounds. The lifetime of 100 Energizer batteries are approximately normally distributed with a mean of 55 hours and a standard deviation of 10. Based on the normal curve, how many of these batteries will last more than 75 hours? After drawing a normal curve, any batteries lasting more than 75 hours are more than two standard deviations away from the mean. By only looking at the data on the right side of the mean, the percentage of the data between the mean and two standard deviations need to be calculated by using the empirical rule. Since we are only looking at values above the mean, 95% divided by 2 equals 47.5%. Since the data is assumed to be normally distributed, 50% of the data is greater than the mean. So, 50% minus 47.5% equals 2.5%. 2.5 represents the percentage of batteries lasting longer than 75 hours. Therefore, 2.5% of 100 is 0 0.025 times 100, which equals 2.5 batteries that will last longer than 75 hours. Another important aspect of the normal distribution is a z-score. A z-score, or standard score, indicates how many standard deviations a score is from the mean. This can be calculated by this formula. Score x minus mean mu divided by the standard deviation sigma. Z-scores can be either positive or negative. A positive Z-score means the data lies above the mean, and a negative Z-score indicates the data lies below the mean. An aptitude test was randomly given to a college class of all freshmen. With a mean of 67 and a standard deviation of 10, determine how many freshmen scored less than 43. After drawing the normal curve, a score of 43 falls less than two standard deviations away from the mean. Therefore, the z-score formula will be used. Reminder, since the score is less than the mean, 
a correct calculation of the z-score would be a negative number. So 43 score minus 67, the mean, divided by 10, the standard deviation, equals negative 2.4. Based on the empirical rule, 96% of the scores lie between 67, the mean, and 47, two standard deviations away from the mean. 96% divided by 2 equals 48%. Since 50% of the data is less than the mean on a normal curve, 50% minus 48% equals 2% who have scored less than a 43 on the aptitude test.